Hi guys and welcome back to this week's tutorial. Today we are going to learn Hearthstone Breaker Run here by Ed Sheeran. So for this tutorial you are going to be needing a capo on the 8th fret. And this is played in standard tuning. The different chords that you are going to need are the C, the G, but only the roots. A minor and the F but without the pinky so only the second third and fourth string Okay, let's begin. So for the intro, what you are going to do with those three fingers, you're going to go down from the second string to the fourth. But using the chords, it will sound like this. The chords that you are going to use are C, Then you're going to G, the A minor, the F, and back to the C. You're going to add the bass. So when you play the C chord, the thumb is going to hit the thumb is going to hit the fifth string. When you use the G chord, you're going to hit with the thumb the 6th string. With the A minor, you play again the 5th. I personally use my thumb on the 1st fret of the 6th string when I play the F. And with this thumb, the right hand slump, you're going to hit the 6th string, so 1st fret, 6th string. If you cannot play the F and only play the, like this, you can hit the 5th string if you want. And then go back to the G, hit again the 6th string, and the 5th string with the C. So you're going to hit. Five, five, six, five, six, six, five. Okay, while doing 
this. And when you, when you play it with your with the chords, so first chord, the C. Okay, you play the thumb at the same time that you play the high note. The second string and then change chords to the G change the E minor F So those three fingers are doing the exact same thing all the time. You're playing this all the time. Two, three, four, three, two, three, four, three, two. Okay, so C. to the verse. So the intro slowly sounds like this. And then directly he goes to the to the verse. So let's learn the verse. So the verse is, the verse, the chorus, the bridge are always the same picking, okay? What is going to change is only the, the order of the chords. So what you're going to do for, for, the, for the picking is basically with the thumb, as usual with Ed Sheeran, the thumb is going to hit every, every beat, every quarter note with the thumb. And you're going to accentuate first beat. So you play one, two, three, one, two, three, and on number one, you accentuate. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. And then those two fingers, so the index and the middle finger, are doing the hitting the same string, the second and the third. Okay, well, those two fingers are always playing on the, at the same place. Second string, third string. The thumb is actually hitting the same notes as during the intro. So five, five during the C chord, six during the G chord, five during the A minor chord, six during the F chord if you use the sum on the sixth string. If you cannot use the sum to play this, just play this and hit the fifth string, then the G. 6th string and go back to the C. Okay, so if you want to coordinate correctly between your thumb and the index and the middle finger, you're going to have to count as usual. So let's take an example. You're going to count to 6, all right? You're going to hit the thumb on 1, 3 and 5. One, two, three, four. 
four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you're going to accentuate the number one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. to play the, the index on four and the middle finger on six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. song is based on this picking pattern. And what you have to realize now is that if you keep doing this picking pattern but you change the chord, for example the E minor, the G, but instead of strumming the fifth string with your thumb, you hit the sixth without moving those two fingers. You can actually change chords. you know how to play this picking pattern, I'm going to show you the chord order. So you're going to begin with a C. So you're going to play it once, and then instead of strumming the fifth string with your thumb, you're going down to the fourth. So it will sound like this. And then you're going to make a hammer on on the third time you're doing this picking pattern on the fourth string. So on one you hit this on one you hit the fourth string on two hammer on three hit without accentuation and then four, five, six, as usual. So it will sound like this from the beginning. And then you're going down to the G. So hit the sixth string with your thumb, and as usual, those two strings from the beginning then go back to the E minor so first time hit the fifth string and second time the fourth and then tricky part This time it's a little bit different. Instead of only hitting the thumb on the F chord, you're going to hit the index plus thumb at the same time. And then hammer on on the third string. Second fret. So 
both string, hammer on, then again only the thumb and only the index. And then go back to the thumb, middle finger, again both finger, pull off, pull off, thumb, index, thumb, and middle finger. So this chord is the tricky part of the verse. So from the beginning, the C, thumb to the fourth string, hammer on, G, A, A minor, thumb of the fifth string, then fourth, and then the tricky part with the F chord, both fingers at the same time, hammer on on the 2nd fret and then pull off for the 2nd time and that's the verse C G A minor F and go back to the C So then he actually plays the pre-chorus. When you play the F, you stay on the fourth with the thumb. When you go on the C, you play the first time the fifth string with the thumb and the second time the fourth. Then with the G you play the first time on the sixth, second time on the fourth. With the A you play on the fifth, go back to the G and to the F. So your thumb is basically doing this. So. 4th, 5th, 4th, 6th, 4th, 5th, 6th, 4th, 4th, 5th, 4th, 6th, 4th, 5th, 1st part of the chorus is exactly the same as the verse. 
This part is exactly the same, but when you go to the F chord, instead of doing the hammer on and the pull off, you only play like the basic way. And then instead of staying on the F, you're going to do F, G, and go back to the C. So from the beginning, And then, the end of the chorus, what you're going to play is a new chord, so this one. Which you will repeat once more in the bridge. So, to play this one, you basically use your index on the first fret of the sixth fret, and the fourth finger, you're going to use it to push the third fret of the fifth string. So from the beginning, the chorus sounds like this. The same as the verse, but then G and go back to the C. And then the new chord. when he sings uh, the oh yeah 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 part and then begin again for the for the next verse so the structure of the song is verse pre-chorus chorus then again verse again pre-chorus again chorus and at the end of the second chorus you're going to play the bridge. So now we go to the bridge and it will be the end of this tutorial. So for the bridge, the chord order is F, C, G, A, G, F, C, G, A minor, G, F, C, G, A minor, G, F, then he ends on the same ending as the chorus, but then he slides it two frets. So the index is going to end up on the third fret of the sixth string, and the fourth finger is going to end up is going to end up on the sixth fret of the fifth string. you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you next week for the next one.